entrepreneur everywhere council recognize and appreciate that businesses are currently facing unprecedented challenges as a result of the significant economic impact that COVID-19 is having across businesses and homes throughout the borough and Northern Ireland. In order to support the local economy, the Council is continuing its business activities and engaging with key partners to explore how best to support local companies over the forthcoming period. It is providing as much information as possible through the Council website also. As part of the support that they are providing, they are also developing a series of web webinars to support local businesses through this crisis. And they also offer one-to-one -one mentoring through the ASK program and the Optimal program. If you're interested in registering for these programs, please email business at antrimandnewtonabbey.gov.uk or for more information um, on um, business support available or other supports available through um, the wider network, please visit the Council's website at antrimandnewtonabbey.gov.uk forward slash coronavirus information for businesses. This webinar is looking at working remotely and how not to feel remote when you are working remotely. It's all about this change. We didn't anticipate this. We didn't anticipate that our whole lives would change overnight, that our business models and our whole structure would completely change overnight. We haven't had time to prepare for this. As small business owners, we never thought this would ever happen. Um, we let alone, it stru we struggle to keep up with the day-to-day -day stuff, let alone pl plan for pandemics. So it's this thing of, we didn't really in, um, anticipate this, it's being forced upon us, but how do we adapt, how do we change, and how do we keep moving forward all the time? So what is this new norm and how do we actually live and work within it? We also then need to think about how we adapt our structures, how we adapt our approach for business, and how we actually keep going. Um, it's also going to look at communications and how we maintain communications with our customers and just really keep in contact with maybe employees just to let them know we're thinking of them um, and also but how do we maintain that contact with the outside world so that they don't forget us that on the other side of this we're ready to go we're ready to move forward again as businesses and also we're going to look at some tools what tools are out there what tools can actually help us with our productivity it's not about trying to make it over complicated. It's about trying to make get as much out of your working day as possible. So really, they're the key things that we're going to look at within the webinar. So the new norm, what is that? If a month ago you'd said to me that I could be recording a video conference call and my kids could potentially be running around in the background, I would never have believed you. When I'm at work, there at school. There's a clear difference between the two and the two never crossed. Now everything has changed and I think that's okay. We're, we're getting used to that. It's, it's a bit overwhelming at times to think that this is the new norm and the new norm, the challenge with it is it changes every day. Just as we get used to one thing, something else changes. So it's okay to feel a bit overwhelmed but it's trying to take control of that situation and that's what this is all about is you trying to take control. So we're a bit more accepting, which is good. And I think that's one of the things that's really good about this situation, that we've become a little bit more relaxed in how we actually operate as business owners. And that's how we actually um, you know, inter interact with our customers and things like that, which is good because we needed to do that. I think that's where it's, it's been, that reset has been good. So we just have to accept in some instances that we're not gonna get work done to the same level, that our whole structures have changed. We need to create those new structures. So. We may not be just as productive, but that's okay. As long as we try and get a new structure and work around that, we can try, you just get as much done as we possibly can. There's no point in getting stressed about this and, and feeling overwhelmed. There is support and help out there for businesses. So if you are getting to the stage where you're feeling that you are feeling a bit um, overwhelmed by the whole thing, please, the, the email addresses I gave at the beginning, and I'll give it a get out again at the end, um, it's important that you contact and maybe get some one-to-one -one mentoring through the Ask or Optimal programs. So it's just about you taking control. So by getting support, you're taking control. By developing a new structure, you're taking control. By adapting your business model you're taking control and these are the things that we have to work towards taking control and driving as our business as much forward so that on the other side of this when we come out as a new business a new business model or if we've had to temporarily close when we reopen that we have a business that we can go back to so by taking control and moving things forward One of the key things in adapting to the new norm is developing a new structure. 
as I said before, we haven't planned for this, we haven't thought about this, so everything is refined in our feet as we go. I think for me, five top tips I would give you in developing that new structure is maintain some for good habits. We do have some good habits, hopefully, um, but it's making sure we keep some of those good habits, making sure that we get up at the same time every day, that we still have a routine of getting ready for work in the morning. We get dressed for work every day. Um, we, if we do our training or workouts in the morning before work or after work, we maintain those routines. Maintaining the good habits that we have is really, really important. The second tip would be to create some new habits. It maybe it's time to create a dedicated workspace within your house or create you know, something new or tidy up your old space. Um, it's also thinking about maybe innovating your business model. This is a key thing that I'm working with a lot of businesses at the minute is how they can actually innovate and change and adapt their business model. So we're creating new habits with that. Some of them are taking their services and they're delivering them online. So it's a completely new approach. Other businesses who sell products, they're moving into e-commerce and selling those online too. So it's about adapting and evolving your business model to suit this new marketplace. When it then evolves on the other side, you have another string to your bow, and that's one of the key things. This will always stand by you. The, the new the good habits that you create now will stand by you when things return to normal. Use your commute time. Your typical commute time that you would be traveling to and from work, can you use that time effectively to look at maybe developing new business ideas, looking at how you can basically read and learn new best practice that you could adapt to your, or introduce to your business? So it's all about creating those best practices and those kind of new habits. So that would be really important. For me, a third tip would be creating a new working day. This is a really tough time. We're having to change completely our structures. We're having to change the whole approach. So can you, what are your new times of working? If you um, have your school or homeschooling to do as well, along with your children, that's presented another challenge for you. So what are your new start times? What are your break times? When do you do homeschooling? When do you juggle that? And when do you finish? So it's having those clear parameters. When you're working solely from home, it means that you ne you know, if you don't switch off properly, you'll never really get to kind of sw um, switch off from the business and relax. So it's really important for our mental health that we also create that new working day. Fourth tip would be building a new network are building and extending your network or making sure that you maintain that network. We place a lot of emphasis in our in normal business lives on um, networking and keeping in contact with other businesses. So why stop now? You know, arrange your Zoom call with a colleague that you do some work with or, um, you know, a, a kind of keep in contact, send an email out, send some um, information out, just keep in contact. And then the other, the last tip, based on, and evolving from that is really about your communication. This is something that's really, really important. Even if you've had to close temporarily as a business, it's really important that you maintain that communication so people don't forget about you. So when you open again, you've got a business to come back to. Even if you still are operating on a different model, make sure you're communicating with your customers. Tell them about the new things that you're doing. Tell them that you're evolving as a, as a business. But the businesses that have had to close, think about, you know, like, think back to the good times. Think about, you know, new ideas that you actually have, new ideas that you're working on. See what your customers think. Empathize with your customers, the fears they may have, the challenges they may be facing. We're all in the same boat. We're all in this together. So this is a time that you really, everyone can really empathize with one another. So. It's making sure that we can continue that communication. That's really important so that on the other side, you've got a business to come back to and a business that will be strong and ready to move forward. Communicating at this moment in time is really important. It is also important to keep, keep you feeling connected to your business. Even though we're working from home and it can be very busy at times, you can still feel disconnected from your business. And I think this is really important that we try to remain connected and try to kind of keep moving forward. And that's the communication will help us through this. For those businesses that have had to currently close, communication is really important. It's important that you continue to communicate, to build the trust, to continue to have that loyalty with your customers on the other side. But making sure that you get the tone right is really important at this time. It's not about selling. Um, your business is closed, so you can't sell. Um, but if you are, um, you know, remember back to good times, you know, uh, appreciate their support and um, ask for them to continue to support you on the other side. For businesses that are still operating, it's important that we remind people we're there that we're still open for business. 
But again, watching our tone. It's more, at this time, it's making sure we get the business, the message really, really clearly across, across to our customers. What is it we're trying to sell? How are we trying to sell it? But it's, it's, it's being careful that we're not being too hard in our sales. Um, it's really important that we do this. Um, we can do this through our email campaigns. We can do this through social media and um, plenty of platforms out there. So it's important that we do this. We, it's best to do it that it's small and often rather than big communications. And this is one of the things if you can do it a couple of times a week um, with a, a social media post or once a week send an email like just to remind everybody there. Whatever it is you do, try to keep it small and often and keep the communications there. Using tools can keep us connected, can keep us productive. And at this time, as I said before, it's difficult sometimes to kind of get, get into a way of working and, and kind of keep yourself moving forward all the time. And it is difficult to kind of keep connected if you're just relying on your email or your telephone. So it's this thing of what other tools are out there. Um, if you're thinking about, you know, changing your um, business model, evolving your business model, one of the first things I would say is get yourself a webcam. It doesn't have to be a lot of money that you spend on it, but get yourself a good webcam. Um, and then the other things you can think about is microphone, things like that. Um, some people get light rings. They're all not essential. Good webcam and you're good to go. Um, and thinking then about the different um, tools that are actually out there. I talked about in the last video about communications and, and kind of maintaining that kind of social media and things. For me, if I'm working with clients, I would always recommend to them Canva for getting really good quality images um, to create social media images. So you can create a Zoom background if you wanted, if, if you kind of wanted to have something that you could actually have branded in your background. Um, you can create your social media posts, which are great. You can create infographics if you're changing your business model, if you're changing how things work and you want to communicate that to your customers. This is a really good way of actually getting that information over to customers um, in a graphic way, which they're more likely to look at. People are much more likely to watch video or much more likely to look at a nice image than they are to read text. So Canvas, that's where it's a really, really good tool to actually use that. You can create flyers, you can create email campaigns, all those things, all those templates are there. Um, it's a typical, you can get it as a free version, um, which the free version is great, but you can upgrade. It's about hundred pounds to upgrade. To be honest, there is so much that there is in the free version. It's something that you have to think about. Do you actually really need to do it? Another tool, as I said, um, is Zoom that um, is being used an awful lot at the minute by everyone. This is another free tool. Again, you can upgrade for an around, I think it's about 120 pounds a year, but it's a free tool that you can use. And um, it gives you, free, on the free version, you get um, three people in a meeting for up to four minutes, 40 minutes for free, and then that's the max limit if you have that. So if you have a group of people, maybe you're bringing together groups of people that you want to use within video, um, video conferencing calls, if you want that for more than 40 minutes, you need to um, upgrade to the, the higher version. But generally speaking, um, you know, the free version is usually enough. Another tool that you can get a video calling on um, and is included within the um, Office 365 package is your uh, Microsoft Teams. Again, really straightforward to ease and easy to use. One of the good things is on this, if you have if maybe working with customers and you need to work in live documents, you can use a shared screen. Again, you've got shared screen on Zoom, which is great. Um, so again, if you want to work with customers on documents or images or things like that, Zoom and Teams gives you that. Um, again, if I talked about communications. Um, use the like of MailChimp, another free tool that's actually out there that you could use to develop email campaigns and communicate with your customers. Um, and other video tools that are actually out there, you've got Panopto, um, which helps you create, um, it's an online video platform, which you, helps you to create, manage, record, edit, and um, live stream video. So another tool for you to think about. You've got your Facebook creator, um, which also then allows you to post um, on Facebook and on Instagram. So again, another tool for you to think about to help, I suppose, maximize your productivity and um, be able to do everything in one source. So lots of free tools out there. You don't have to spend an awful lot on those. All of the tools I've really talked about, there's free versions of them. Um, and it's also something about at this moment in time, you don't want to spend more money than you actually need to. Cash is king at the minute. So it's making sure that you're you know, not wasting cash. So there are free tools, plenty out there, plenty of sources that you can actually get this. If the, the thought of using these tools is overwhelming, 
this is where go to the council and ask for mentoring support through the ask program or the optimal program these are great programs that will get you um, one-to-one -one support it's all being delivered online right now um, but it means that you can actually work with customers um, as I said before People have been looking at how they can evolve and innovate their business models, and it is possible to do. And the people that I've been working with on the program have actually been saying that it's great that actually take, they feel like they're taking control. So this is something really to think about right now is, you know, access the support that I, that's out there for free. Um, it's there, so you might as well take it and apply for it and get that peace of mind that you're taking control of your business and you're driving your business forward at this time. As information becomes available, Council will communicate this through their website and corporate social media channels. There are links to useful information on grants, rates relief, support for self-employed, tips and advice um, on the Council website. And this is available at andromuniatnavi.gov.uk forward slash coronavirus information for businesses. And this is updated on an ongoing basis. If you would like to avail of the mentoring support that I talked about um, from the ASK programme or the Optimal programme, the, um, please feel free to, to email into the team at business at antrimonutenabbey.gov.uk and that will get you registered for support. Really important at this time, you take control, that you drive things forward as much as you possibly can within the restrictions that, that we're living within. But if you feel that you're taking control, you're making a start. So thanks for watching and see you on the other side.